Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be going over how to color grade footage in Blender. So I've got this shot open right here. The way that Blender's VSC works, the VSC stands for Visual Sequencing Editor, you can apply color correction directly to a film strip or you can add an adjustment strip. I prefer adding an adjustment strip for a couple of reasons. The main one is I can just apply one adjustment strip at the end of all of my editing to color correct all of my footage at once as long as all of my shots have been correctly exposed. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to hit Shift A and come down to the effect strip and then come up, I'm sorry, uh, come up here to the adjustment layer and then grab this and move it across to cover up my whole in and out point. Now one thing that took me a little while to get was if you come up to the, the strip tab um, and you can come down here to color and if you don't have this window you can just hit N with your mouse being in the in the sequencer window. So come up here to strip and then come up here to color and we have the multiply which of course has to do with the alpha of the image. I'll set that to one and then we have saturation. So we can really just increase the saturation or decrease the saturation right away if we want black and white footage or very saturated footage. And I can, you can increase the saturation well above the number of two. So I'm gonna leave the saturation where it is for now and instead come over here to the modifiers tab. Now in the modifiers tab, you can click add modifier. We have a color balance. We have curves, hue correct, brightness, and contrast, mask, white balance and tone map. If your clip has a white balance issue, go ahead and use that. Otherwise, my suggestion is to stick with the curve. The color balance, you have the lift, gamma, and gain. Lift is your shadows, gamma is your midtones, and gain is your highlights. So that's very similar to how, let's say, Premiere would do color balancing. I can add some blue into the shadows. I can add some yellow into the highlights and, you know, brighten, darken things using the sliders over here. So I find a better option when color grading footage is to stick with the curves. And what's nice about the curves is we have the C option here, which is our overall uh, luminosity. So if I grab the bottom handle here, I can go ahead and increase the darks in the image. If I grab the top handle here, I can increase the lights in the image. And of course, I can give a lot of contrast if that's what I'm looking for. And then we have R, G, and B, and those curves act just like normal curves do. So I find that I get my best results when I'm using the curves. And then of course, we can change it from standard to film light. But so I'm just going to leave it with standard and let's go ahead and color grade this footage right here. Okay, so the first thing that I always like to do is grab this bottom control point and pull it in a little bit. One thing that I hope gets fixed in the future with Blender is these control points don't automatically update while you are using it. So I can grab a point and put it anywhere on the graph, but until I let go, the image doesn't update up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some contrast there and add in some brightness. Don't want it to be too bright, okay? And then the first thing I'm gonna do is come here to the G because there's lots of green here. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the green. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and look for an S curve, something like that. And then uh, do the same curve for the blue tab. So, and of course, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the yellows there. And then here for the reds. Okay, uh, and then the nice thing is we can turn this on and off to see the difference in how our, how our image looks. Now that we've gone ahead and made all of these adjustments, let's come over here to strip. And in the color tab, we can go ahead and increase the saturation to find a final effect, something like that. And if you want to at this point, this is where I generally use the color balance here just to make these final fine adjustments. Be careful because Blender is pretty pretty quick to destroy your footage when you're doing color correcting. So anyway, this has been a little bit about how to color correct footage in Blender. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If it has, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to drop a like or a subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.